Remember the tank blitz, armor pants here. Have another review for you, don't I? This is the T11 OE4 review. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Who is this lad? Big armor looking fucker here, isn't he? he? What's this got to do with tanks, by the way, armored? Well, let me tell you. I'll tell you exactly what this is. This is an ankylosaur. Sort of a. In the period before the Jurassic, was it Crustaceous or whatever? I don't know, I'm not a fucking paleontologist. But anyway, and there's been a few court cases to prove that, by the way. Also, that I'm not a medical doctor or a tax inspector, but their stories for a different day. Anyway, so this lad, this Ankylosaur, right? He's one of these, there's a dinosaur that I only recently discovered. I was going to say he's a new dinosaur, but that's an oxymoron, isn't it? As opposed to a real moron, uh, like myself. But uh, this is the uh, Ankylosaur, as he said. And uh, he's just sort of a walking armoured fucking reptile that, you know, is almost indestructible. He's very slow, moves forward. And he's got this massive tail with a big fucking mallet at the end of it, just for smashing the shit out of things. And when I was uh, looking at this fella online there, I thought he's quite like the T11OE4. And that also is sort of a creeping, slow-moving, heavily armoured, sort of dinosaur reptilian looking fucking tank with massive alpha gun on it. Very difficult to damage, um, and just kind of comes towards you like this creeping prehistoric death. So there you go. But anyway, let's have a look at this prehistoric death in some detail. T11 OE4, um, and uh, let's have a look in the ever reliable blitz hanger. Now, uh, this tank is uh, up from the T30, which is why I was actually asked to review it because I did review on the T30 recently and uh, got a lot of interest. A lot of people were PMing me, etc. And they said, what about uh, the tank after it? So this is the tank after it. Um, it's in a tank destroyer line, but actually this is more as like the T-30 itself can be played as a heavy tank. Um, so we set it up like that. Um, now it is very slow moving, um, but it's very heavily armoured like the T-30 itself. Very difficult to penetrate, especially front on. So this is very much like a prison shower tank. Just keep your arse to the wall, keep the front out and you're going to be safe. It has a great gun. Um, has 155 calibre. Uh, 155 millimeter gun, which is fucking great. Has a relatively decent rate of fire for something that does so much damage. So its DPM numbers are pretty solid. Nothing spectacular, but pretty solid. But um, also, um, you know, as we always say with big runs, like anything over uh, 150, I always pay attention to the HE rounds because they can go through a lot of medium tanks and light tanks. And of course, um, for example, German tank destroyers that have no armor and do a shit ton of damage. So just be aware of them, uh, keep your ammo selector open and um, be aware of the fact that you can uh, use HE, uh, especially if you know the armour profiles of the opposition tanks. Um, if you're up in tier 10 you probably should be an experienced player. Um, as I said before it's not a race to get tier 10 so only play up in tier 10 when you've got at least five or 6,000 games under your belt, that would be my recommendation anyway. Unless you're some sort of fucking blitz prodigy, in which case carry on. Um, now let's have a look at this fucker here. Look at that fucking hell. Look at the front of that. It's like a big, big, hard, throbbing penis from German porn. Now like, it kind of looks a bit like the Joker, or the Joker was a duck, doesn't it? You know, if that, was lip, that red thing there was its lips. But um, anyway, that's sort of um, neither here nor there. But uh, as you can see, the armor profile is fantastic. Even on the turret on the back, you're going to be able to get some bounces. You can create some really fantastic armor, uh, sorry, some armor profiles and some angles. But you'll see that um, at the back it is vulnerable, at the sides it's vulnerable except at the turret. So this is a tank you want to keep face on. As you said, just think about being in the maximum security prison. You're the good looking fella in there. You know, you're going to the shower the first day. Could keep, just keep your arse to the wall, you'll be safe. This is an arse to the wall. This is a maximum security prison um, tank. Arse is to the wall and all will be good. Um, just keep the armor facing the enemy and you're going to be pretty solid. Um, it's fairly decent the front lines, decent long range sniping, circle dead, no one v one brawl. Well, actually, if you get you, if you're only if you're face hugging, can be okay. Depends on what you're up against, obviously. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna. You're not gonna get smashed in a one v one brawl. Um, but just be aware that obviously the traverse speed is very slow. So don't go up against mediums or light tanks. You're fucked. There's no other, there's no other way of describing it. You're fucked. And um, the best thing you can do is hope to pin them in. Um, and get your arse up against something solid and rely on your turret armor um, but you know if you're stuck in a one we move brawl against the heavy or something like that just get face on and um, he's going to find it difficult to pin you. Uh, the tank is pretty similar to the T-30 in terms of maneuverability so you can get around the map but it is slow and it is like that Ankylosaur it's just a slow moving freaking creeping prehistoric death coming towards you 
This is the last thing you want to see come onto your front arm. Maybe like a Jagdpanzer or E100. This is sort of very intimidating. Has faster reload than those, so um, you can do some damage. If you're wondering what's going on here and why I'm not moving or saying it, I was in the toilet, so I just went for a quick biological break before the game started. Then I came back, picked up the phone, turned everything upside down. We could have edited that out, but you know, I like being honest with you, so that's what I was doing there. So often I have some of my best games when I'm delayed. You may remember the Borsig Mastery game because I was changing TV channel for my son, so we didn't start for like, we started for 15 seconds late. I was changing from Peppa Pig to something. I was like changing to Peppa Pig. I can't remember. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, and Peppa Pig is not related to Blitz in any way. Um, so just because you watch Peppa Pig, it doesn't mean you're going to be a bit better Blitz player. So I should probably point that out there just in case you think I'm trying to eat you straight. But anyway, the good thing about this advantage in this was by the time I started moving, everybody spotted up. So it made my sort of uh, shot selection be easier and my positioning be easier. There you go. Look at that gun. Massive fucking alpha around there. Um, and then I just go back into cover, reload, and um, you know, that's what I'm saying about this gun. It's intimidating, you know, you're gonna do all sorts of damage in this thing. Look at that, blam, splash, fucking bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, like, you think you're safe, you know, you've got seven, eight hundred hit points left. You get into the fucking, um, under the barrel of this thing, and you're fucked. I mean, like, as Brad Pitt says in, um, in Snatch. So you're waiting for a fuck, you're proper fucked, is it? Yeah, you're proper fucked. You can see there the gun, even normally P rounds, they would pen the bottom of the uh, of the of the Jagdpanzer. Again, a bit of fucking see what I mean like that E100, you think you're pretty safe there, you're gonna bounce a few shots now. Fucking smash out. I mean this gun is just fucking great, I love it. Now we'll get into I'm gonna get myself into a bit of a tight situation here, but I think I wanna move up and sort of help the help the team a bit. So smash that object around 40 there. Um, I haven't taken a single piece of damage yet. And then we're gonna go in here and um, get, get into a bit of a melee here. Um, there you go, I just went HE. Why did I do HE? Because HE doesn't bounce or miss and when he's got such low um, hit points left, it's a good way of clearing enemy tanks, it's just HE. I'm gonna switch back to APC or because these tanks are a bastard to penetrate front off. They are a bastard those object two six trees. Um, they just, I mean, it doesn't matter what you're firing at them, they just, but I mean, obviously, so you don't know, they're like this tank, they are prison, maximum security prison tank, bars to the wall, these things are difficult to pen. You can see here I'm in a bit of trouble here because if he's coming front on to me, but I do manage to get him to side. And, um, I mean, he's front on there, look, uh, he's even bouncing shots from the Death Star, and these things are awesome. Um, but unfortunately, as we've often said before, unfortunately for him, We've said this before, it doesn't matter who you are, what tank you are, you can be the best player on the planet. If a uh, player is coming to you from both sides, you're more or less fucked, especially if they have any idea what they're doing. And as you know, we're not the best player in the world, but they kind of have a bit of an idea what they're doing. So there we go. Um, so even though that object 263 was able to take out our, um, our leg panzer and that, um, uh, once he had the ciders back to me, it's game over. Now, um, now we're in a bit of an interesting situation here. I am in my uh, prehistoric slow moving fucking tank, my Ankyosaur, and this little fella's Velociraptor. So we might be able to catch him. But equally, he's not be able to get near me because if he shows himself, he's one shot from me. So we're in sort of a bit of a cat and mouse tank, or whatever the prehistoric equivalent to cat and mouse was. A Catiosaur and a Mousasaur, would that be correct? I obviously not, but as I said, and I did warn you at the start of the video, I'm not a paleontologist. I'm sort of trying to get into a bit I'm trying to get into a position here where I'm not vulnerable at all. So you know, as you said, prison shower, arse to the wall, and I'm trying to protect both my sides because it's hard maybe he might try to come at me, try to get around me, circle it at me. Well he actually just fucked off. He just, he just fucking did a proper old fashioned legger. So now we're heading for a draw here, because we can't catch him, you know, despite what these other guys are saying to be chasing and go and all this but to fuck me, you know. And the tank does maximum like 35 kilometers an hour, 35 miles an hour, kilometers per fuck. How the fuck am I supposed to catch him? It's not possible, especially with his little camo. Like, like tank camo and all that, he's gonna see me way before I see him. If I get guy out in the open, it's game over there, gonna win. So I decide if we can go to base, see if we can draw him out, and see if we can get a lucky shot. This map sort of lends itself a bit to me, to my favor, because there's not. 
can see the optimist there. We were last, so we said that only is a pessimist, but he also can't speak English, so but nonetheless, um, I'm trying to, you know, move around, I'm trying to make it difficult for him to get a shot on me. I'm trying to make it difficult for him to get an approach on me, but you know, they have a slight advantage in that this is an awkward map to get a clear shot. But then he's an advantage in that there's many, many alleys, angles through which he can get a shot. Sort of exposed in the middle here. So I'm trying to move around, make it a bit difficult, and trying to get my so I'm going to see if we can get lucky and um, get my gun facing him when he comes in. Um, but uh, I actually I don't get lucky because he comes in here at the top and he gets a shot on me and he, uh, he sets the countdown. He's going to do that in a second. There isn't really much I can do because you know you can see as I said you the traverse speed. I couldn't get around in time, um, so. Now I'm sort of backing up again, I know where he is, but obviously he's not going to come that way again because he's spotted up. So I have a feeling he's going to come to the other side. So I'll go that way and I'm trying to get me going on to him now. Well, he decided to move forward as if he was going to chase him, then come back and get me going facing that way. Now if he's going the other way, okay, I, wouldn't, uh, anyway, I took a 50 50 chance. I assumed he'd come to the other side, so I'm trying to get me going facing that way. And I've loaded up an AJ. Why? Because it just bounces, and he's uh, he's very low HP. So if I get that shot anywhere on him, um, that's my guy in the game. But now, if he just pissed off around the map, he was going for a drive, and um, they would they would they would drive this game. But in actuality, he decides to come back, and I don't know why he was trying to because he didn't have enough time to win it. And I got lucky. We did get lucky. There's no point denying it. I got lucky. Um, because um, I was lucky my gun was facing that way. If I, I took a 50 50 chance. You know, I'm not going to say I was an amazing player from here and I just took a chance. I just assumed it might come that way. And it panned out, so there you go, almost 5k damage. He won one OE4, a bit of a carry um, there. Me and the Dead Star sort of did more or less everything. Um, their object 263 was their kind of best player. Um, but their uh, but their bat shot, he could have actually drawn that game from if he had just gone. I don't know where he came. Uh, I don't know what he was hoping to achieve. But anyway, poor decision making, I guess you know. But I give him a wordy pound anyway because there was a bit of a chase going around there. And um, yeah, there you go. So almost five k damage. I don't know how much damage you have to do to master it. Probably around six, maybe or five and a half, something like that. You know. Um, but with an alpha round, like with alpha going like that, you're going to be doing all sorts of fucking damage, aren't you? So. Anyway, subscribe and follow and all that. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a decent tank. We'd recommend it if you're if especially if you go to the T tour D, it won't let you down. You'd be happy with it. Alright, cheers much. Take it easy now. Cheers, boys, boys.